Hello everyone and welcome to this Checkmate Puzzles video. Uh, so one way to improve your chess is to study tactics and learn how to attack your opponent's king. So let's practice attacking the opponent's king uh, by doing some checkmate puzzles here. So pause the video at any time if you need to think longer. Uh, here is white's turn to move. So what would you do in this position uh, to break through here and go after the black king? And it looks like black is ahead in this game. Two rooks to the queen and black has more pawns. Uh, so how does white win this game? All right, uh, let's take a look here. So uh, it is a mate in two and hopefully you found this one, uh, which is just queen to f7 check and this forces the king uh, to move to the only square available king to d8 and then queen to d7 mates uh, so hopefully that one wasn't too difficult for you uh, let's move on to another one here and i'll turn off these lines okay All right, so also, uh, this one is a little more tricky. White to move here. And we see that white is behind by two pawns. So, you know, white needs to do something immediately to turn this game around as black is ahead in material here. So what would you do uh, with the white pieces here with white to move? All right, uh, pause the video if you need more time. If not, let's take a look and see how white turns this game around. Okay, so here we have queen to e7. So hopefully you found that move. That is the winning move. Uh, and now there's an immediate mate in two if... Uh, so whenever the king is under attack, he can only capture the attacker, block the attacker, or run away. Those are your three options. Uh, so here, of course, he cannot capture the attacker, and he cannot run because the king is cutting off his escape. So he has to block with either the pawn or the queen. Now we see uh, if he blocks with this pawn, uh, well then we have queen to e1, and the only option is to block with the queen and then there's a mate so black uh, you know must avoid that and so if we go back after queen to e7 the better option is queen to g5 to block with the queen instead uh, but now we have queen to e4 or queen to b4 so white will continue to check and just harass uh, this black king so now uh, once again if queen to f4 of course you know then white would just capture with an immediate mate so uh, queen to g4 is the best move uh, but now we have either queen to e3 or queen to e7 checking again. But with queen to e3, this is an interesting move because the queen, black's queen, cannot check the white king without being captured uh, with check. So black's queen could check here but be captured, here on g3 and be captured, uh, or f4 with check and be captured. So black is in trouble here because it's his move. Uh, he has to do something. Uh, if he just moves his pawn up, well then we have this move. Check. Um, there would be a block and a mate. So black must avoid that. All right, 
So back to this queen to e3 move by white and uh, take back this g5 move. All right, so the computer here says the best move is, uh, well, all three of these moves lead to trouble. So queen to h3, queen to e2. So the king cannot move, the pawn cannot move, so the queen must move. Now, if the queen moves to h3, g3, or f4, the queen will just be captured. Uh, and if the queen moves away, uh, let's say back to here somewhere, well then we have a mate with queen to g3. So that is one option that must be, uh, black must be careful of. All right, so anyway, anything that black does here, uh, he will either lose his queen or get mated. So another option, uh, let's see, what could be a, another move here? If the queen moves, let's say, to here, well, then there's another mate here on h3. So you can have a further look at that at home. But whatever black does, he will lose his queen or get mated here. Okay, let's move on to another example here, another checkmate puzzle. So number three... Okay, and this time it is Black's turn to move. Uh, so I'll flip the board around to Black's perspective. So Black's turn to move. Uh, what should Black do here? How can Black try and checkmate the White King? So take a look at this, see if you can figure it out. Uh, pause the video if you need more time. If not, let's take a look. So, it is a mate in two for black. So, how does black do it? All right. Well, there are multiple options here. So, one example would just be queen to b2 check. And now, white is kind of limited uh, on his response here because the queen is cutting off escape squares, uh, the pawn is, the bishop is, so the only move here is to capture the knight. Um, but then we have queen to b4 mate here, uh, you know, or one of the other possibilities if we go back one move. So the rook could go to c8 and mate as well. All right, and if we go back to the very beginning, uh, and look at some of the other possibilities. We have uh, another mate in two with bishop to a4. And so maybe you saw this one. This is definitely a little trickier. Uh, now, you know, the white king has two options. Capture the knight or capture the bishop. And so uh, either way. It will be queen to b4 mate. And let's look at this one other example here. a4 check. And then after king captures on c4, uh, we have rook to c8 mate. So hopefully you saw one or more of those possibilities. Uh, and they were pretty interesting how... The white king was just kind of trapped out here in the open. So definitely keep an eye on king safety, your own to play defense and also your opponents when you're trying to attack. Maybe they are leaving themselves open. All right, let's look at the fourth example here, the fourth checkmate puzzle. All right, once again, black to move. So I will flip the board to black's perspective here. Okay, so black's turn to move. 
Uh, what can black do here? How does he go about checkmating the white king? So take a look at this, see if you can figure it out. Uh, it looks like we have uh, a rook and a knight, queen, bishop, all these pieces are kind of aimed at the white king. Uh, white is actually slightly ahead in material, but black has a winning checkmating attack here. So see if you can figure it out. And once again, if you need more time, pause the video. Uh, if not, let's take a look. So it is a mate in three. So how would you go about mating in three here? All right, let's look. Okay, the winning move is bishop to h3. So hopefully you found that. And this bishop is protected by the queen, so the king cannot capture the attacker. Uh, the king cannot block the attacker because they're next to each other. So the king uh, must either, well, excuse me, the king cannot run. So the only way to get out of this immediately is for the knight to capture the attacker. So knight captures, but then this allows queen not to recapture here. Um, as we'll take a look, if queen takes h3, then the game is uh, slightly in black's favor, but not winning like it was before. So black has to be cap uh, careful not to capture this knight uh, because we'll take a look here. Then the king could just escape uh, down here to g1. Um, but there is a follow-on here, and it looks like you know, black would still be in the lead. But we're looking for a mate here. So let's go back to the beginning. So after bishop to h3, knight captures. Instead, the queen must go to f3, protected by this rook. And now, after king to g1, the only move available, we have two options. Uh, queen to h1 here, or the knight can capture here and use the knight to deliver mate. So that was an interesting little attack here where uh, black just had all his pieces, or almost all of them, attacking the white king and was able to break through. All right, let's take a look at example uh, number five here. Okay, so this is white's turn to move here. And how does white uh, commence his attack and deliver a checkmate? So take a look at this, see if you can figure it out. Uh, once again, if you need more time, just pause the video. All right, so it looks like we have a mate in six here. So hopefully you found the first move that starts this combination off or this checkmating attack. All right, so the best move and to deliver the mate in six is queen capturing the knight here. So that move was pretty obvious. Now, black must be careful because if king to d7, well, then we have a mate here. So black instead, instead of moving to d7, must try to escape on e7 and attack the bishop here. But then we have queen protecting the bishop, delivering another check, and the king is forced to run away here. And the queen just keeps chasing the king. So now the only move available is king to g5. But uh, here it's a little interesting. If queen to f5 to continue attacking, then that would take a little bit longer. Uh, we could take a look at that. But first, let's look at the quickest way to do this. Rook to g1. And so if the queen captures here, well, then we have queen to f5, and only h4 
uh, or king to h6 is possible. Now, if king to h6, well then mate is delivered uh, in both instances on queen to h5. So uh, here is an example. The pawn cuts off the escape and this rook sacrifice pulled the queen away over here uh, from the defense of this h file here. You know, especially if the king would try to move up here into the corner and the queen would have still been here. But let's go back a few moves and look at the other option. All right. So instead of rook to g1 check, if queen to f5 would have been played, well then if king to h4 it's an immediate mate so the king would try to escape up here uh, but now this is a little tricky we have rook to g1 uh, threatening mate here with the queen on uh, g5 so now it looks like the most immediate way to try and break through, or excuse me, the most immediate way for black to try and hold on the longest is just to capture, give up the queen here, capture the king, uh, but then you know white would just be ahead in material. Another option is, let's see, g6 here, uh, but then capture with check after recaptures then the queen would capture well anyway i hope you were able to uh, figure out at least the first few moves there to get your checkmate attack rolling and uh, after that hopefully you could finish it out and deliver mate all right let's look at checkmate puzzle number six here oh let me turn off the lines and evaluation before we begin so number six once again white to move uh, so here white is winning with material uh, but what is the quickest way to deliver mate here so take a look at this and see what you come up with all right once again if you need extra time pause the video if not let's take a look at the evaluation it looks like, excuse me, a mate in two. And the fastest way to do this is to sacrifice the queen. So queen captures f6. And now uh, this threatens a mate here on, you know, queen captures g7. So the bishop cannot move back and forth because then we just have queen captures and delivers mate. Uh, you know, if the pawn here moves, well then the same thing. But if the queen is captured, then the other bishop delivers mate here. So hopefully you found that one. That was an interesting little uh, queen sacrifice for mate. Okay, let's take a look at, uh, I have two more checkmate puzzles for you to solve and then we'll call it quips for the day all right number seven and this is uh once again black to move so i'll flip it around to black's perspective so it looks like uh black has positioned his knight and queen down on white side of the board um, and it is Black's turn to move. Uh, material, looks like material may be even. Let's see here. Pawns, four, five, six, seven to seven. So yes, material is even, but it's Black's turn to move. How does Black uh, break through and deliver mate here? So take a look. And uh, there are two options in this two different ways 
to start off this checkmate attack. All right, pause the video if you need more time. If not, let's look at the evaluation. It's a mate in two. So hopefully you found one or both of the ways to deliver mate in two. All right, so one is to sacrifice this knight with knight captures the pawn on e5. And so the king cannot move uh, because all his squares are covered or blocked by his own pieces or covered by uh, black's pieces. So uh, after this capture, delivering a check, we have a recapture. And now knight to c5 delivers a mate. So that is one way to do it. Let's go back and look at the other option. So the other option is knight to c5. And then white is forced to capture once again. But now this knight captures here and delivers mate. So hopefully you found uh, one or both of those ways to deliver a checkmate in this puzzle. All right, let's look at the final problem. Uh, problem checkmate puzzle number eight. Uh, once again, it is black's turn to move. So we'll flip the board here. What should black do here? How does black deliver a checkmate? So take a look at this, see if you can figure it out. Uh, and as always, pause the video if you need more time. Uh, if not, let's look at the evaluation here. So here, black is definitely winning, but what is the best move to play in this position? Let's look. All right. So here, it looks like the computer recommends queen to g5. Interesting. Now, what if this is played? Queen to e2. See, the computer did not even see that possibility. But now queen to e2 is played, and we have a mate in four. Uh, so if the rook were to just capture this queen, well, then we have rook delivers a mate on f1. So we'll take a look at that. Capture and mate. So this is an interesting mating pattern where you use your bishop and a rook together uh, to trap your opponent's king. So that must be avoided. So if we go back to the beginning, uh, after the queen move, if king to h1 is played, this, the computer shows this as a mate in three, well then uh, we have queen to e1, check, the rook would block, um, and then we have rook check, queen blocks, and then rook mates. So that is another option. And if we go back to the beginning and look at the mate in four. So knight to f3. Well, then we have rook to g4 or rook takes f3. So we'll take a look at this rook to g4. Well then king to h1, bishop to g2, check. King is forced back to g1. The knight captures and delivers a discovered check. The rook blocks, uh, but then the queen will move in. So that was a little tricky there. Um, you know, hopefully you found some of these lines. Let's take a look. If we go back, um, we'll go back to the beginning. 
All right, the queen move, knight to f3. Looks like the best defense that can be put up for white. Uh, and then what did we look at? Rook to g4. The other option is rook captures on f3. Uh, so then what do we have after this? It looks like different possibilities. Uh, queen to h8 just delays the inevitable by attacking the king here. Um, king to h1 or queen to g7 once again delaying the inevitable. Um, but the threat here uh, is this checking move right here. So, you know, what the computer recommends is, let's see, queen to h8, king to h1. So if king to h1 is played, well, then we just have... Uh, multiple moves, but, you know, check, rook to f1, rook takes, and that same maneuver where the queen is forced to block and then we have a mate. Uh, so I'll take one more quick look at this. So queen to e2, um, and we saw that the rook cannot capture that queen because Black's rook would just deliver a mate on f1. And it looks like knight to f3 is the most resistance that white can put up. Um, and then it looks like after rook captures on f3, the rook cannot capture black's rook because then the queen will deliver mate on g2. Uh, so, you know, what if a waiting move is played? Uh, or, you know, maybe something like this. Well, then uh, we have queen to f1. The rook is forced to capture. And then once again, this move. Anyway, there are a lot of possibilities in this checkmate puzzle. So, uh Take a further look at it, set it up on the board, and see what you think. And, you know, it's a good way to practice your tactical ability and your calculation. All right, I'll end it there for today. I hope you enjoyed these checkmate puzzles. Uh, if you have, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave comments or suggestions. Uh, and have a great day, everyone. Thank you.